Well, Ferris, you just uh, received an Academy Award nomination in the Best Documentary category for your film, Last Men in Aleppo. Tell us a little bit about the movie and what inspired you to make it. Um, this is movie, it's coming like a kind of um, searching about the hope in country uh, without hope. Where uh, when I was like in the prison that around me, all the, the I, I get arrested because I was doing films before that about the freedom of expression in Syria. And for not knowing, for who not know about Syria, Syria was um, under control of the dictatorship for 50 years. And for you as an artist and filmmaker or the or, or um, whose work and the freedom of expression, not easy to say whatever you want. So you would try to find alternative solution to say the stories. I get arrested because doing uh, a films and then after year, uh, one year from detonations, I go out from, uh, from the prison. Then I saw in front of me the distractions. There's no hope. There is no hope inside the prison. There is no hope outside of the prison. The lowly white I survived in the prison, the imagination and, and trying to find out like how we can listening to the other voices, listening, seeing something like create the, create the hope by my hand. In, 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 in the destruction situation and there was like the bombs around you and the heavy bomb from different uh, sources, um, especially from the Russians, I start to, to figure out how the my um, uh, how this the, the the people who in the front line who is using nonviolence way creating the hope in front of the other people and then I made a character of Last Man in Aleppo that was the one element was very important in this film. This is film is about how the war impact of this is people and how the human being challenging challenging the machine of the war. Mm -hmm. And in the film, you follow a team of people who are known as the White Helmets. Talk a little bit about who they are and what they do. The White Helmets is um, a group of volunteers. They are uh, volunteered uh, to uh, to rescue the the the, um, the, uh, the victims of uh, the heavy bomb from the Russians and the Assad. You know, who don't know the background of the conflict in Syria. The Russians, the Assad, who start bomb the the, uh, the areas that out of its control after like uh, the people going in the street and demonstrate against Assad, and then the Russians enter to Syria to support Assad with other uh, allies of, of uh, like Iranians and others. And with the ways of uh, of that, there's a group of. Uh, a, a, a people who take responsibility to protect their neighborhood and their cities, and this is people who's well known in their in their neighborhood and their cities, and well trust from the people, and they take the the, the risk and the, the responsibility to to run to the places of the bomb and pulling the bodies uh, from that, and they save a lot of a lot of a lot of lives. Literally, they organize themselves and they start to get support for the equipment especially the equipment. There's no money support or for that. Like they send them like a car, like the, 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 the cars, uh, the, like the, the, the firefighters, the ambulance um, the, and the classes and uh, the helmet. Then knowing because they just wearing this is helmet knowing for the international community as a white helmet because in the video that come, uh, smuggled from Syria or published on the news from Syria was this is people you saw all the time these people running, running around. They were wearing the white helmets, so get to know into the the, the 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 society, the international community as a white helmets. Yeah. When you approach them, uh, this group of people about making a documentary about them, what was their reaction like? What was their, I guess, uh, were they resistant to it? Were they accepting of it? I mean, what what did you do in order to assimilate yourself into that group? First of all, actually, um, uh, the the correct the, the 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 character that I reached them, they they rejected that. They they don't want to be portrayed as a heroes, and they 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 feel that what they do, it's it's their responsibility for their neighborhood and um, uh, and for their neighbors and and for their village and their cities, and they don't feel like this is it's important like to be shown for. Um, 
on the cameras on on the film they don't feel like they are like a films uh, like a characters in films and and they start in long conversation with them about convincing that this is a films it's gonna to bring your voices bring what you've been witnesses and bring and more attention for what you what you're doing and this is film will also um save this is kind of the witnesses as evidence for the war crimes you helping the war to to recognize the war crime that happened around and that's important and my mission as a as a filmmaker to reflect that and show show this is things as your mission to save the 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 bodies my mission is save this is memories and uh, save this is this um this is witnesses in a way and uh, of course we i was like in my mind there's a characters who's have this is feeling of enjoyment you feel like when you watch them you connect with them people like create the hope in front of you they f- put you in in a situation that you just ignore the death because you connect very powerful with them the people like they have this is inner conflict between their families and their society and that was most interesting element in the story in the story with Khalid that you feel like he's is like any cinematic characters that you saw it like in the uh, uh, the life is beautiful uh, the, uh, the 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 film the, the foreign film that won from Italy that won best Oscars you feel this as people who is like residents all of the ugly ugly of the war and the the the, the death and the the the, um, uh, the thing that make you never think about about yourself the life is not beautiful yeah mm-hmm. well they are incredibly brave men and they put themselves into real danger um and in this film there are some pretty harrowing moments um and so i, I wonder if you could just uh take us there and tell us a little bit about uh filming some of these uh incredibly uh, dangerous and and uh you know harrowing moments in this film when we was when we was filming, actually, we was really searching about what what Khalid, the main character, and Mahmoud, the both main character, saw in their community is beautiful to make them stay. I, 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 we trying to find the beauty that they saw it, the 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 feeling of the beauty of around them. So all the time the camera was follow them, and we didn't try like to represent. The director as a as a, as a, as, a, as a main element or the the picture as a main element. We try like to to put the camera in the their eye levels, and watch what they watch, see the ugly side of the words, but saw the beautiful side of the world. It's like kind of enjoying in the last minute of your life, and you want to capture all the dream and all the beauty of the life before your eyes it's uh, closed and dead. So how you can, like, it's, it's like, it was the, the, the theory of the story that how we can capture all the beauty of the life if we have one minute in our life to see what the beautiful side of the life in a very ugly world. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I think it's really easy, especially like living in faraway countries, um, to look at what's going on in Aleppo and all of the awful carnage there and not really um, have to deal with it, you know, because it is far away and it, it just feels kind of like a, a statistic. So I wonder, I mean, what do you hope people who watch this movie take away from it? Well, what I want from this is people, it's many things, many, many points. One of this is going to understand the refugees problems that the, this is refugees from Syria or from Iran or from from everywhere from the world that they when they leave their country they didn't leave it because they decide to leave it they forest and they didn't find any hope they know that they sieged with a death and they don't don't have any other decision their end could be like the main character of my films and the other side from from that also i want to be the the, the politicians to think about how much should to take care about their decision and take it take it with more responsibility and more study for for any decision that they will take it not just take it because they have their their 
their ego over that or they want to just take a decisions it's it's a life of thousand and hundred on and million of the people it's attacked attached with one decisions one decision could change this is life and save a, a, a thousand of life just imagine this is one decision yes or no one sign could save like a people could could be killed hundred of thousand of people because cutting the aid on Syria to helping the Syrian or closing the border in front of the people who is like really need to be in the safe places because they want their children to be safe and other other that not drawing the line in front of the criminals who was acute who was behind all of this is war and one of this is reason that the f film shows and attacked by Russian propaganda actually because it show the war crimes show the corruptions of Russians in Syria show how the impact of 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 their policy in the country that the people want to stay there in their in their houses like a, a person who going to to buy a fish and building building aquarium to enjoy in his life and the and other going to buy food and continue his life this is people they didn't want to dis they didn't want to to, to leave this is people want to stay and all what's happened from in in in, in the city like Aleppo it's displacement for, for this is people and war crime i want this people also to be witnesses and addressing what they saw is a war crimes and certainly the Oscar nomination is going to help bring the movie to a wider audience. So what does that recognition mean for you? First of all, this is first Syrian um, produced and uh, directed movie historical nominated for us, Oscar. And I'm, I'm so happy to share you in, 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 in your platform in this moment. And I'm humble with this, with be like with a mini... Um, a big and um, and impactful name in the art and the films industry that also they bring their personal story like Steven Spielberg or 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 uh, Fellini or uh, uh, Francois Truffaut Hitchcock or uh, all of this is uh, or Charlie Chaplin all of this is people was like on this stage they bring their personal story their vision for the life i'm so humble to 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 share this is and i bring my vision for the life and my witnesses to the life to share them in this is time the thing also that what could could the nomination help and this is moment help it's help to think again about syria and think about how we can create the peace because if there is no 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 thinking about the peace and the justice and the peace together because there is no peace without justice there is no peace without addressing the war crimes. No, there is no peace without saying for the criminal, you are a criminal. You did this crime and this is a victim's. Without addressing this, there is no, there will, the, the peace process not happened. And with bringing these films here, it's, it's big attention from a lot of people to watch, to think about it, and to, to, to be watched years and years and years. And these crimes will follow the criminal all their times and will be like their nightmares until they decide by themselves or the, the international community decide this is criminal they have to, to punch for their crimes. Yeah. Well, it's a really powerful and uh, important movie. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for this is platform, amazing platform that I watch many of amazing interviews with amazing people. Thanks for also for this chance to, to let me talk about the last man Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, you're welcome anytime. Thank you so much. Thanks.